What is going on guys? It's Sook and I am back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys the results that I got when benchmarking the top of the line baseline 15 inch 2017 MacBook Pro. So without any further ado, let's hit the titles. Now the first test application that I used was Geekbench. Now Geekbench gives a score for both single and multi-threaded tasks. And after these have been performed, it gives a score based on performance and the time taken to perform them. And for the 64-bit tests, I got a single core score of 4,696 and a multi-core score of 15,834. And for the 32-bit tests, I got a single core score of 3,962 and a multi-core score of 14,007. Now once again using Geekbench 4, I ran the compute test to see how well the OpenGR engine runs through Geekbench. Now as you guys can see the score that I got was 41,415. And once again, using Geekbench 4, I ran another compute test, but this time to see how well it performed when using the Metal engine. And the result that I got was 28,076. The next benchmarking application that I ran was GFXbench OpenGL. Now GFXbench runs a number of different tests, which vary from higher and lower levels of intensity, which are both performed on screen and off screen. And in the interest of saving time, I've calculated the average of all of these results. But of course, at the end, I will show you each individual result. Now the results that I got for the higher level intensive tasks that were performed on screen was 51.19 frames per second. And for the lower performed on screen, I got 59.91. And for the higher level of tasks that were performed off screen, I got an average of 185.02 and a lower of 207.16. The next benchmarking application that I ran once again came from GFX Bench, but this time was designed to test out the Metal engine. And for the higher level intensive tasks, I got an average FPS score of 118.11 and on the lower side, I got an average of 162.51. The next benchmarking application that I ran was NovaBench. Now NovaBench runs a number of different tests from the hardware aspects such as the CPU and the RAM, as well as the operating system, and gives a score based on how well they tie in together. Now as you see, the score that I got was 1,247. I did also do a performance test on the SSD, and as you guys can see, I did get a read score of 1,927 megabytes per second and a write of 2,272. Then, using Cinebench, I ran an OpenGL performance test, and as you guys can see, I did get a score of 91.19 frames per second. And once again, using Cinebench, I did a CPU test and I got a score of 739 CB. I then ran the Unigen Heaven benchmarking tool. And as you guys can see, the score that I got when benchmarking the 15 inch 2017 MacBook Pro was 1,075. And I also got an average FPS readout of 41.5. then ran an export test using Final Cut Pro and I did export a 5 minute 23 second clip which was shot at 4K but downscaled it to HD and as you guys can see it took approximately 1 minute 27 seconds to do so. I then also exported the same video file at H.64 at 4K resolution. Now this took approximately 2 minutes 42 seconds to do so. Well then guys that has been it for today's video i do hope you did enjoy it if you did enjoy it then be sure to hit that like button and if you are new around here then why not subscribe also if you have got any questions as to what you've seen in today's video then be sure to go and hit me up on my social media thank you guys very much for watching i'll see you guys next time have a good one